Check it out. The sunflower is almost blooming. Oh man, even by later today, I bet. Later today. All right, this week is kind of a crazy week for SCB because it is the 10 year anniversary of Super Carlin Brothers. We've been doing this for a decade. So it's Spirit Week, uh, that's part of the celebration. Uh, today is Mickey Monday. Ben, are you excited for Spirit Week? Yes, I absolutely am. Can you tell that I have like all of my Mickey? You have like a bazillion Mickeys on you. I have, boom, boom, yes. boom, 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 boom. But then we're gonna have little Mixter up here, and so I'm gonna be like, can you spot the hidden Mickey? And it's like, I'm covered in Mickeys, but it's also like, but there's also a hidden one as well. Sneaky. I know, sneaky, sneaky. Very cute. Thanks. Chad, are you so excited for Spirit Week? So excited for Spirit Week. I love, I love all your Mickey stuff. Mickey Monday. You have so I got many them. pins. Yeah. Nice. These are some, this one's this one's probably my favorite because Epcot's my favorite. Nice. Yeah. Ethan, did you have a hard time choosing from all of your Mickey Mouse I, I own zero Mickey Mouse <laughs> oh, things, no. so I had to borrow this comically large Funko Pop. Excellent, excellent. Um, in order to show my spirit. Picture. There's no wrong yeah. way to show your spirit, you know. I'm definitely gonna take a picture of that with Ralph's Jr., I think. Oh, that is amazing, yes. yes. <laughs> All right, Beth, what do we got here? This was your Father's Day present. These are famous cocktail ice cubes. I think we've talked about them before. They used to be at a restaurant downtown. Now they just sell them at like a local shop. Yes. They used to be this place called Lucky. Now they're not for some reason. It was like the most popular item. So all you do is put it in your glass. Beth got this awesome rare bourbon. Angel's Envy, it has the wings on the back. And then you pour it over and it sort of like melts and makes a cocktail out of itself. Tell me about that shot glass. This shot glass is my favorite shot glass. It is from a Mexican water park called Jalha. And we got it on our honeymoon. It was one of the excursions we did. Uh, it was really fun. I always remember that uh, we had like room service. That one, room service, it's all inclusive so you can just get anything. But uh, the guy came to clear the cart and asked us what we were doing. And I was like, what oh, is something that's called Jalha? And he, his whole face lit up. He was like, you go to Jalha? And so he always said that. <laughs> it was not even that great of a part, but I love the shot glass. Cheers. Ooh, off to a good start. The cool thing about this is that the longer you let it sit, the better it gets because the more of the ice melts. All right, it's day four of Supercon Spirit Week, which means it's Thor's Day. So my plan all week has been to do Loki, but there was a costume I was gonna order, and it just turned out that it couldn't arrive nearly on time. So I've been scrambling a little bit. Had a couple of, uh, a bit of inspiration. We're gonna use a 3D printer at the office to print some horns, which I'm going to go buy some gold spray paint for now. And then I had to convert my Star Wars outfit that I got at the Halcyon, uh, which is just a like big green robe I was gonna wear that yesterday. But now I'm gonna turn it into my Loki costume. Also, one of my favorite things about this particular hardware store is that they randomly sell Pokemon cards, so anytime I have to buy something here, I try and get a pack. Let's see if we get anything. <laughs> Absolutely not. Terrible pull. Let's see the, the horns, Ethan. They are put together, mostly. Yep. <laughs> I only broke it a little bit. Only broke it a little bit? Only broke it a little bit, had to get a different kind of glue. What has the journey to get to these horns been like? Man, so... I tried to print a full, like, male Loki mask yeah. thing, and it just turned into plastic spaghetti overnight. It sure did. And it was, I mean, it's our first time that that's happened, like, where it properly just sat there going Shh, all night. But, uh, yeah, so we went for a uh, Sylvie version that took less time. Yeah. So it worked a lot better. Nice. Got my spray paint here. Spray paint makes me nervous for some reason. Like, I never use it, but let's see. Hopefully I don't accidentally spray myself in the face. Oh, oh my gosh, it's amazing. It looks so good so fast. It's very gold. It is very gold. Wow, I freaking love that. Yeah. Look how shiny. That is great. I understand painting. <laughs> this is it. I understand the appeal entirely now. I'm 
so impressed with how shiny it is. And then I somehow doubt it'll take very long for it to dry up here in this insane heat that it has in the front of the horn. Okay, well, I think we just let it uh, dry, and we'll come back and check it in a few, I don't know, minutes. It's so hot out here. It really is. What are we doing today, guys? Well, because we have a podcast called Popcorn Culture, and because we love having products, uh, <laughs> we have sourced some amazingly cool, different flavored popcorns as um, something we could possibly add to the Carlin Brothers Possibly, Possibly, Ben. Possibly. Uh, it's the Carlin Brothers Coffee web store. So we're gonna sample all these popcorns today. All right, what do we got? Cherry mash, cinnamon, regular butter, clock tower, that tastes like clock. No, this is Chicago cake. style. That's birthday cake, I said the wrong thing. They all say clock tower. They all say clock tower. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> this one's also clock tower. <laughs> <laughs> Cookies and cream and kettle corn. What, is, what would clock tower taste like? Stainless steel? Like eating, yes, like eating pennies? Yeah. 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 Starting with butter. You get like a good baseline. Yeah. You want to try the cinnamon? Let's this one's like cookies and cream. All right. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, oh. Let me get some. Do it. Popcorn cheer. <laughs> Popcorn cheer. <laughs> Here, wait. Move over this way a little bit. Because it's like in the center. Dink, dink. <laughs> oh, that's actually really good. Oh, that's so good. This tastes like pretty normal popcorn. For some reason, I wasn't expecting it to be like. It doesn't taste like cinnamon at all. Yeah, it does. Oh wow, well, I can't I mean, even tell. Is it like? But I wasn't. Sugar it's or no, like it's yeah, it's like it's like fireball. cinnamon roll, it's not like fireball. Like, oh okay, okay. Like red. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that it's cinnamon. No, it's good. Yeah. Okay, y'all have to try this. Look how it is red. a violent color. <laughs> what is cookies and cream? Cookies and cream is very cookies good. Cookies and cream. Ah! Water. I mean, there's a little bit of spice, but like. Mm, I don't like that. That's just straight up candy. I just don't like cinnamon. I'm not a big cinnamon yeah. person. Cookies that and cream, good. white chocolate, and Oreo crumbs. Birthday mm. cake. I'm here too. Birthday cake is the move. I'm telling you. Mm. Clock tower is pretty good. <laughs> which one's clock tower? All of them. No, but which one did we deem this clock tower? Salt is no. cookies and cream. <laughs> ben, you took the only one with a cool name. Called it clock tower. <laughs> <laughs> okay, popcorn party over. You have three seconds to guess what I'm gonna turn around the camera and show you, but I bet you can't. One, two, three. What's up, dude? Hey, brother. Hey. All right, you guys, check it out. Glorious purpose. Full costume. Also went and grabbed our uh, Name of the Wind sword. Say Sora off the wall for like one of Loki's daggers. I think it looks pretty good. Let's go take some pictures. The great thing about Ben doing Spider-Man is that we have rooftop access. So we get very cool Spider-Man pictures. What's the goal? So the goal is to do one of those things where we play the video backwards and it looks like I'm like summoning the Stormbreaker because it's technically Thor's day. Right. So we have to shoot everything in reverse, which is always like slightly confusing because it's like, which order do things happen in? But in the end, it should look like I'm basically, hold on, how will it go? Landing in the scene, pulling the ax, and then looking up at the camera. Nice. Um, and everything I'm sure. Jesus. Wow. I got real warm. So go. Ready, Jay? Yep. So at camera. Go up. Go. Well, you guys, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little freaked out right now because I feel like maybe I've woken up in another dimension. Um, as you can see, it's 7.36 on the clock. I woke up after 7.15 with no alarm and no one else was awake. And now I've come downstairs. I have made a coffee in my current favorite coffee mug which has Disney World on it, but is my favorite because it's the one with coffee in it. I've made a bagel. It is now past 7.30. And it's still completely quiet here. Did I wake up in 2016 or something? What do we have going here, brother? Okay, so 
simple Super Carlin Brothers t-shirt, right? Yep. Blue yeah. on white, no mm -hmm. big, no big. But what we are going to be doing for the Super Carlin Brothers shirt club for the main Super Carlin Brothers Patreon um, is actually individually hand tie dyeing every single one of the shirts in the club. Yeah. This is the inaugural shirt, and I feel like I've watched way more tie dye videos than I've ever expected to in my life. Uh, what we've done is we've taken the shirt, put it inside out, because I've heard there's like a couple of like pigmenty type things that can happen, so it, it looks better on the outside when it's regular side in. And then literally what you can do is like grab from the middle and then just like give it the twist. Give it the old twisty twist. There you go. That looks pretty. It looks like how I remember things going when I was a kid in fifth grade. Right. Yeah. So then now, now you got to get like all your. All your pleats nice and smooth and what Gotta have good you. pleat awareness. Gotta have good pleat awareness. How do we feel about that? That looks pretty solid to me, man. Yeah? Yeah. We made a swirly do. Alright. What you got? Okay. Well so I'm, I'm trying, but there's there's where we're at. That looks about right, I guess. Yeah. You're supposed so, to take like, the star pattern? Star pattern, go through, and I guess, yeah, sort of like really deep of it. Okay, yeah, is that what you do? You do you do like a color per wedge? I think sort of a color per wedge. I think that we have too many wedges. Okay. But I think approximately that's what we're going for. Let's see if we were to like lay out. Yeah, we have six colors. All right, we got one, we got two. We have one with six wedges, one with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 15 wedges. Somewhere in there. Somewhere in there, okay. And what do we do next? Yeah, oh, that yeah. looks really Look nice. at that, now that. That's a nice pleat right there. That's some good pleating, y'all. Okay, ready? Do a dip. A dip in the vat of the cosmos. The vat of the cosmos. Look at the bubbles. Bubbles add a lot to the festivity of the thing. Okay. What's next? Well, you bestow upon yourself the gloves. The gloves. Which then give you the power of the lunch lady. Yay. Yay. Lunch lady powers. And then you just kind of work it around. That's sort of what I was thinking, so. Okay, see all that Look at all grit? That. I think yeah. that that's what we were trying to, this is why we're doing them inside out. Because you don't want the grit? So I think the grit will leave like bigger stains. Maybe I'll... That's the grit, the black stuff. Woo! Well, it looks festive. Oh yeah, I'm excited for this. Flip it and do it again. Flip it and do it again. I'm gonna go for like an alternating red and blue pattern myself. Just the same course. Oh no. Oh yeah. Okay, that's better. Not so bad. And it has now been what, 21 hours? 21 hours. I think technically protocol dictates 24, but we're impatient, so we're gonna open them now. We're rebels. We're rebels. As I said, oh, look, your your tie dye is gonna match your shirt. I know. What one is that? That's pretty good. I know. I know. I know. So like this one, we made this the rainbow effect, and that one we made. All of it, the rainbow effect. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's like the exact inverse. I know. Because <laughs> now the logo itself will be the solid part. How about that? How about that? Okay. The moment of truce. How about them rainbows? How about them rainbows? Is there any scenario where it's really just not cool at all? I, don't, I doubt it. I mean, it's not like you accidentally mix the colors in such a way that now the whole thing's brown and gray. True. It's not like Easter eggs. Okay. I'm already impressed with it. Just that tiny little bit you unfolded. All right, you ready? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Whoa. Oh, I think Whoa. it looks good. Whoa. Hey. Looks pretty good. Not bad. Not bad at all. I'm actually pretty impressed. Yeah. I, that's cool. This arm is a little more like odd colors of like orange and, and like tie mix. <laughs> yeah, you had like one tiny, your tiniest pie slice was the orange and it like all got right there. Yeah. <laughs> all right, my turn. I'm so excited. You're, so you had the, the six colors. I just went for the two alternating. So you have a little bit of, wow. This is camera work. You can't pay <laughs> Is the Red Bull at lunch? It's the Red Bull. Your current. Hey, that looks good too! Oh, that really good. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I'm dribbling all over the floor. Oh my gosh. Oh, sorry, my mouth. Oh man. That looks great. Nice. I like the piece of purple in it. What you working on, Luke? You squeegee in the boat? No. Oh my gosh. Good job.